Hey guys, Cardi Hayes back for yet another video. Gold making during the early access period is absolutely wild. Literally everything you do is making gold. But the early access period is almost over. And the global launch is about to happen. So by the time you watch this video, early access period will probably be over. But that's okay because this method will still work. This method of gold making will make gold any time during the early parts of the expansion release. But as each day goes on, prices on the auction house will go down, so that's why I needed to make this video right now and get it out right away. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a method for making gold that is by far one of the easiest ways to make gold that I've ever seen before. This is one of the greatest ways to make gold because you can literally just chill in town, you don't need tons of gold to do this, and you will double your gold in a matter of minutes. You can make as much gold with this method as you want. But before we start, I'm just going to say a quick disclaimer. This method for making gold is most likely only viable over the next few days to the next few weeks at most. I will make sure to explain exactly what the gold thresholds are so you know if it's viable or not. Always check the prices of items before starting any gold making methods. Enough chitter chatter, let's get right into it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is as basic as it gets, and I'm sure a lot of you already know this method. We are simply buying greens from the auction house and disenchanting them. You literally will double or triple your gold just by simply disenchanting the war within green BOEs you can buy on the auction house. All you do is disenchant the greens and sell the storm dust directly on the auction house. There are a few things you will need to do in order to make sure you're getting the most out of this method. For one, you need to have enchanting obviously, and you need to have your specialization set up properly or this method won't be viable. What you want to do is put at least 5 points in a designated enchanter, 10 if you can. Then what you want to do is put 30 points into uncommon utilitarian. This will allow us to get maximum amount of storm dust when we disenchant greens. And they have to be war within greens. The more points that you put into designated enchanter, the top one, the more gold you will make. But you have to make sure you do have 30 points into uncommon utilitarian. This is the most important one to make sure you're getting the most storm dust out of our disenchants. You will need to get your enchanting up in level in order to get knowledge points. Make sure to fly around the four zones and get your free 24 knowledge points from each of the one-time treasures. There are two one-time treasures in each zone. Each treasure gives you three knowledge points for a total of 24 points and eight treasures. Wowhead.com has all the waypoints or cords to find these treasures. You will need to at least be level 25 in enchanting to unlock specializations as well. But ideally, you do want to have 40 knowledge points bare minimum, 10 points into designated enchanter, and 30 points into uncommon utilitarian. So once you have your enchanting all set up and your spec into designated disenchanter, you can start buying green BOEs. First, check the price of storm dust. You will want to set storm dust as a favor in your auction house for all three ranks, ranks 1, 2, and 3. On my server, storm dust rank 1 is selling for between 190 to 150 gold. And I usually look at rank 1 storm dust to decide what my spending limit will be on the green BOEs. Let's just say 175 gold a piece for storm dust. If storm dust is 175 gold, then that means my spending limit for green BOEs will be 350 gold, which is 100% the cost of storm dust. But ideally, the cheaper you can get the greens, and the more expensive the storm dust is, the more profit you make. As you're disenchanting the green BOEs, you will also get rank 2 and rank 3 of storm dust. Rank 1 and rank 2 sell for just about the same amount, with rank 2 selling for slightly more, but rank 3 storm dust sells for almost double the amount as rank 2, so it's really good. So I did an experiment and bought 146 green BOEs on the auction house. I spent an average of 270 gold apiece on each of the BOEs for a total of 40,000 gold. Then I disenchanted all 146 more than green BOEs to see what my profit would be. I ended up making back about 80,000 gold, which is about double, which is actually really good. I only spent about 30 minutes buying the greens and disenchanting them. So you could basically just non-stop continuously buy greens and disenchant them. But the only issue is sometimes the price on the green BOEs go up on the auction house. So just watch the auction house and look for cheap greens. When you're scanning the auction house for green BOEs, Make sure to set the filter so you don't accidentally buy old greens. Just set the level range to 70 to 80, then click current expansion, then select uncommon, then search through the armor section. If dust is selling for 175 gold a pop, then you want to aim to buy green BOEs for a maximum of 350, basically 100% more than storm dust. But ideally, paying 50% is better so if storm dust is selling for 175 gold a pop, then ideally you want to only spend 250 on the green BOEs, but you'll still make profit if you're spending 350 for the BOEs. I mean, honestly, you could even spend 400 and still make profit, but the higher you go up, the less profit you make. 
When you're disenchanting green BOEs, it is all RNG, so that's why I say be careful buying the greens for too much. So try to stick to 100% cost at max. Whatever the dust is, you can spend double that price on green BOEs. So if storm dust is only 100 gold for rank 1, then you can only spend 200 gold for the green BOEs. If storm dust is 175 gold, then you can spend 350 gold on BOEs. As you're disenchanting, you will get tons of rank 2 and some rank 3s. The more rank 3s you get, the more gold you make. As you see here, I would got plenty of rank 3s, which made the profit even better. When I am disenchanting the greens, anytime I get 2 dust at rank 1, that means that I made gold. Anything more than 2 is even more profit. When you just get 1, that means you slightly lost gold, but as you see here in the chat, I barely get 1. Most of the time I'm getting 3 or 4 or even 5 out of the disenchant. So guys, this is a great way to make gold. The chances of making profit off 10 BOEs is a lot less than the chances of making profit off 100 green BOEs. But I can guarantee you guys, if you're buying green BOEs for 100% of the storm dust costs, you will make gold. But if you just buy 10, there's a chance you only make a little bit of gold. I can almost guarantee you that if you buy 10 BUEs at 100% cost of the storm dust, you will make something. You'll never lose gold. It's possible if you had really bad RNG, but very unlikely. So that is the disclaimer. You could lose gold, but it's very unlikely. You're most likely always going to double your gold. That's the disclaimer here. Just wanted to throw that out there. I'm going to give you a few tips on getting your hands on green BUEs. Sometimes you won't see any greens in the auction house for the price you're looking for. But when you don't see any greens on your server, you can always check other servers. Just simply put your gold into your warband bank and log into a different realm, create a level 10 allied race, and check the auction house. If you don't have allied race, then create a level 1 and run to the auction house. If prices look good, then buy a bunch of green BOEs, pop them into the warband bank, and grab them on your disenchanter. Another way to get your hands on BOEs is by asking in trade chat. Make a nice little message asking people to COD, cash on delivery, you the greens at a certain price. But like I said guys, if storm dust is selling for 175 gold, you want to aim to buy greens for around 250 gold, up to 350 gold maximum. You will still make profit if you're buying greens at 350 gold a pop. Every single green that you disenchant can make you anywhere from 100 gold up to 2,500 gold per green BOE. If you get lucky and get 5 rank 3s out of 1 green, you just made 2.5k for that 1 green item. But on a bad item, you disenchant it and get 1 rank 1, then you just lost about 50 to 100 gold. But it's pretty rare just to get 1 rank 1, so that doesn't happen very often and all the other times you have good RNG makes up for the bad. For the 146 greens that I bought, I paid 270 gold on average. After disenchanting them all and selling them, I ended up making back 540 gold from each green BOE for an average. I paid 270 gold for each one and I made 540 back on each green BOE. So basically you could pay up to 350 gold for green BOEs and be fine if storm dust is selling for 175 gold. I'm going to do another quick test. Storm Dust is selling for 166 for rank 1, 200 for rank 2, and 462 for rank 3. I'm going to buy 10 green BUEs at a price of 375 gold each for a total of 3,750 gold and see what my profit is. Okay, I bought 10 greens and now I'm going to disenchant them. Alright, I disenchanted them all. Let's post them on the auction house. After posting them all, I ended up making 5,895 gold, which is roughly 2.1k profit. I'm going to do this test two more times, just to get a better average, because it is all RNG when you're disenchanting. Alright, so test number two. I bought another 10 green BOEs at 375 gold each, disenchanted them all, and sold the dust. Test number two made me 5,009 gold, for a profit of 1,700 gold. And now for the test three. 10 more BOEs at 375 gold apiece, disenchanted, posted the dust, and this time I ended up making 7,442 gold from the 10 BOEs that I paid 3,750 gold for. So you can definitely spend up to 100% of storm dust cost, if not more. When I say 100% of storm dust cost, I'm basically talking about the price of rank 1 storm dust. But always keep your eye on prices of rank 2 and 3. If rank 3 storm dust isn't at least 2 to 3 times the price of rank 1, then it could affect profits. But overall guys, this is a really easy way to make some gold. Simply buy greens and disenchant them and sell the dust. Make sure your specialization is set up properly as well. So yeah guys, this is just a quick video that I made so you guys can make some gold before this goes away. Because over the next week or two, this is definitely going to decline, if not sooner. So hopefully you guys see this video in time. As always, I can't thank you enough. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Cloudy Haze out.
I just need to know what's on your mind. Tell me what you need, and you can call my name.